another plant I'd like to show is catnip. Catnip is non-native, which is nice. That means if I usually if it's non-native and non-planted, um, introduced, that you can gather it and it will continue to come back. And it's this plant right here. This is Napita cataria. The cataria sounds like cat. Napita cataria, catnip, in the mint family, the Lamiaceae or the Labiate. Um, and I, I don't always use catnip in first aid because you need a lot of it, uh, and it does one or two things only specifically. But so aside from first aid, uh, catnip to me is a really valuable medicine, and I would say for lots of people who have stress associated with belly aches. So in other words, when things get nervous or they're not, they don't want the phone call that they're going to get or whatever it is in your life. And when things, when you feel uptight or depressed really, um, and, but your belly hurts as well. So not so much a loss of appetite, but actually it hurts a little bit crampy. Catnip is great. So basically catnip is a nervine, so it nourishes the nervous system, a nervine, but it's also a nervine specific for the GI tract. So it's a really great medicine for relaxing kind of belly pain associated with stress, but you can just drink it anyway. It's strong tasting. It's, um, it's bitter. It's uh, the aromatics. It's not peppermint. Like it's related to peppermint. Peppermint has a much brighter, easier flavor for most people, but a lot of people like catnip as a tea. You can also make a tincture out of it. Um, you know, and the parts used, you can usually use young stems, but the main parts used are going to be, you just do the old strip down, are going to be the leaves and then later the flower tops. Um, and the cat that dwells around my house, Pedro, who's occasionally tried to get on the film but hasn't yet, uh, is one of those cats that does love catnip. And Pedro actually really likes what's called cat mint. And so right over here, this is catnip, Napita cataria. But right over here is Napita fascinii. And it's actually in flower. And it's right here. So this is cat mint, um, which could be used similarly to catnip. I use, usually use catnip. I tend to use the tried and true herb or the ones that I read about. I'm kind of stuck in my ways that way. But this is cat mint, and often if you come in here in summer when the sun is adding enough heat where this is letting off its aromatics, Pedro the cat will be sitting right here in the cat mint. Um, and so they're both useful, but I, I tend to use catnip more. But these are really pretty. If you're a northeastern gardener, uh, these are four, three or four years old already, these cat mints, and they make great edging plants. So if you just want to plant, they're easy to take care of, they're perennials, you get a couple of these. And once again, these are four years old. The only thing I do is have to weed out the plants around them. For instance, this is evening primrose. This is valerian right over here. Um, and that's the main things growing in between. There's some grass. I don't know my grasses as well. And mm.